Okay, it's time for test number one in my melee attack. Um... Hello and welcome to the fourth devlog of my split screen FPS game, Couch Combat. This episode is all about melee attacks and getting ready to add a bunch of new weapons to the game. Um, the first thing I'm tackling for this devlog is melee attacks. When you have no weapons equipped, you have fists. And you can punch enemies with them, and while it does somewhat low damage, it can knock them back. So it's possible to either put a bit more space in between yourself and an attacker, or maybe even knock them off the stage entirely. I also want to let you melee with weapons as well. First off, I need to make some melee animations. You might have noticed in the last devlog that in some of the pistol animations, the right arm looks weird. That's because the rig for the arms is messed up, and I created it automatically using Mixamo, and it kinda didn't work too well. So I re-rigged the arms and created a punching animation. I then exported the new arms and made a new weapon prefab for just the fists. I spent basically the first week just trying to import the arm animations and get them looking good. It took way longer than expected. And it's little things like this that end up eating most of my time working on this game. It's kind of surprising, but I mean, I would have never guessed that positioning the arms correctly would take double the time that modeling, rigging, and animating them would take. But whatever. Finally, I added an animation controller to it so you can actually punch, and added some screen shake to the punching. I tried to get it to render over other objects, but Unity recently complicated the process of rendering like guns above everything else. Um, it used to be pretty easy, but now it's much more difficult. Anyway, I need to make the punch do damage and knock back players, so let's figure out how to do that. On the last devlog, there was a comment that caught my eye. Pezflow mentioned adding items to the game, like a sticky grenade, or a throwable cover that of course is a couch. I really like the idea of items, but to keep it simple, I think I'll add throwables. It'll add a bit of variety to combat, and I'll make sure to keep them mostly couch related. Like the sticky grenade could be a static electricity charged cushion. Though I didn't end up having time to implement throwables this week, I just wanted to mention that I was thinking about them. Any cool or awful ideas you have for throwables are welcome in the comment section. Uh, the game only has two stages, so it's time to make a few more. I first just drew up concepts for two new ones. One is a bunch of islands covered by logs, and the other one is just one big island with a bunch of cover and trees and stuff. I got to work blocking out the first of these stages. The islands with logs connecting them. For some reason while I was recording this, the player's animation controller went missing. I have no idea why, but I fixed it later. There are longer rotations you can take on these logs, but there are also risky and quicker rotations you can take by hopping on these extra little islands. I like the level, but it needs some cover, but so far the stage is going smoothly. The next day I picked up where I left off and completed the stage. The final stage has some trees, grass, and a new log model for the logs connecting the islands. And of course I got a cool new video of the camera circling around the finished stage. Though I was planning on making the second stage, I actually didn't end up having enough time to do it. So. Um, I'm experimenting with something and I'm trying to make the stages bigger and messing around with the player movement to make it harder to fall off the stages and also just making it more fun to move around. The first thing I did was up the counter movement for the player, and now you should stop a lot faster, which keeps you from sliding off cliffs as often. Then I came around and made the sliding a bit more fun, by making it faster. Finally, I expanded the first stage greatly, and now there's a lot more empty space to move around in. I need to do that to the other stages as well, but I didn't do it in this devlog because of course I didn't. I need to make it so each gun only has a limited amount of ammo in it. This includes making the pickup store the ammo of the gun whenever it's dropped. I first off spent a while reworking the way ammo is stored, but now each gun has a max amount of ammo that is subtracted from when you reload. Once that amount reaches zero, the gun can no longer shoot. That was pretty easy, but storing the amount of ammo in the pickup was a bit more difficult. I kept encountering issues and bugs of how I was adding the values to the pickup, but I figured it out eventually. I then changed the culling mask, which hides certain things from certain players but shows it to the others, like their fists. 
Now, instead of hiding things on a certain layer from cameras, some cameras can only see certain things. I know it sounds about the same, but this will make the game work with four players because some things will need to be hidden from multiple cameras at once, instead of just one. Just a few things left on my to-do list for these few weeks, uh, and one of them is making a score tracker. This will be useful because, uh, duh. The thing about this score tracker is that it'll have to just be an object that travels between multiple scenes, which isn't too hard to do, I just need to be careful not to accidentally create a new object every scene. The scoring object just determines how many players exist, and then when that ally player count drops to 1, it gives a point to the last living player and then moves to the next stage. The final thing I did this devlog was just fix up the particle effects for the muzzle flash. It was messed up in devlog 2, and I never quite fixed it until now. Though I really need to make the pistol feel better to shoot, right now it's too slow and needs some new sounds. Well that's about all for this devlog, I'm quite happy with the melee attack and the new stage, though I feel like I didn't get too much done for the 3 weeks I was working on it. And the core gameplay is now one step closer to being finished, so that's good. I'm planning on getting out a playable demo on itch.io and one or two devlogs, though I need to implement menus, four players, more weapons, throwables, and probably some more stuff before then. If you want to follow the development of this game and eventually play that demo, then don't forget to subscribe. And maybe like, like or something, I don't know. Bye.